Hi, G. Hey, hey. It's good to be back again. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Excellent. So in the last couple of videos, we explored the, the structure of transformation, uh, explored working with identities, underlying presuppositions that we work with, uh, and so many different things. So when when someone or when me as a coach, when I get that uh, structure of transformation and I'm able to make that shift, what would that what would that look and feel like? How would I know I've experienced it? Right. I mean, that's a great question. You know, one of the things that I I really believe in is that an answer to the question like that is an experience. And so, okay, not surprising, you probably know this, right? Not surprising, which is then say, okay, if you want to answer that question, let's go to you and go, is there, is there an area of your life, something that you would like to see transform? I mean, truly transformed where something that has, has been a limitation never becomes a limitation ever again, because you make the identity shift. So let's go for something like that. Yeah, I mean, it's funny that you say that now. I mean, one of the areas that uh, I would love to work on is me working on uh, uh, having my presence on social media. Uh, I would like to be able to do a lot more and create a lot more content. It's amazing because we are doing this video. Uh, ah, but I. Okay, okay <laughs> just put a pause there. Put a pause there. Um, yeah. One of the things about transformation as a coach is that the, that the, in this case, you, whoever you're working with, they have already generated examples of the transformation they're asking for. And so, for example, we're on, we're on video right now. We're yes. getting ready to go into social media with this right now. The very yes. thing you want to do. And yes. what's interesting about it is that you don't yet have the identity of doing it you just yes. have the action this is the behavioral action of doing it to create yes. the experience when we make the kind of transformation we're talking about those experiences become coalesced into your yes. identity and then become evidence and then that generates the belief that anchors yes. in the, this change of identity okay yeah so yeah. and if we talk about in the the last video we talked about presupposition yes you know my presupposition is we are already there. I mean, that's yeah. not a big deal. And yeah. we, there are a couple of steps we probably need to take for you to get there, but we are there, right? Yes. And yes. so, and then you go, okay, that sounds too easy. And you know what? It is. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, my, my first thought was that, yeah, I'm able to do this, but I'm not able to do this consistently. Uh, All right, uh, and right. it does it does take a lot of effort uh, right. for me to do this now. Right, and the the key to this kind of transformation is the consistently. What you just said is that you can do so. You can you do do social media, but you don't do it consistently. When yes. you make this transformation, which is the identity mm -hmm. shift, it will be consistent because that will be the natural expression of who you are. And that's an important phrase. You know, when you make identity shift, it be your behavior become a natural expression of who you are. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And you know, it, it's like, you know, we talk about this, you know, you go unconscious incompetence, conscious incompetence, conscious competence, mm -hmm. unconscious competence. Yes. But there's another level, which is mm -hmm. conscious excellence and that's where you go when you make the identity shift mm -hmm. right and that's the work we're doing right then that then that then goes into unconscious excellence yes you know, but you've got to make that shift i think into conscious excellence at the identity level which is the work we're doing right now okay so nice. what and and what we're looking for is we're looking for the internal organization that manifests in an identity statement okay so what who who are you when you consistently generate a, a global presence on social media 
the moment you said global, my first sense was oh, uh, when no. I wasn't even I, thinking. I put, that in, I put that in. I put that in uh, intentionally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so who am I? Uh, I am. I mean, there are a couple of identities that come. I'm a giver. Uh, I am someone who consistently shares. Uh, so I am someone who can consistently make a difference uh, globally. So I'm a change maker, uh, a global change maker. Ah. That's that's the identity statement that connects. Okay. Let's start with that. Let's start with global change maker. <clears throat> we may find something that's actually even more precise, or we may stay with that. Um, so when you say to yourself, and this is the identity statement piece, when you say to yourself, I'm a global change maker, is there any objection? I mean, the voice in my head goes like, I could be. Yeah. That's the objective. It's present. It's more like in future. I could be, but it's not something in present. Right. This, is, this is perfect. That's exactly right, because that's the way it works. OK. So what we're looking for now is we're going to, we are moving toward um, your a, making what I call a being level decision. And that being level decision is a decision made in the moment. And what it does is it organizes all your internal parts. And that I could be just kind of evaporates right mm -hmm. so so make the statement again i am a global change maker and as you do release that i could be just say i am so i am a global change maker mm -hmm. and what happens in, what's that there's a different experience. I could sense like this, this feeling gushing down. Uh, uh, it's, I could sense me being that. Right. Uh, it kind of in, internally is just from me being that. And then suddenly I get dissociated. So I see myself being that, but I'm not that. Uh, and then I get associated. So it shifts between the two. Okay. So let's do it again and and stay anchored in the association of yourself with this identity. Yeah. Okay. So I am a global change maker. Yeah. I identified with it a bit more. Okay, it's a bit more. So you go, you know, and if we take it in NLP terms, your present state is moving towards your desired state. You're not completely there yet, not totally organized yet, and yet you are. Yeah, <laughs> you are a global change maker. The evidence is yes. the evidence already exists, yes. and what you're doing is you're organizing your identity so that that evidence reinforces the belief that you are a global change maker. So we're working at we're working simultaneously at two levels. One is identity level. One's belief level. Yes. Right. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I I do feel when I think about I'm a change maker. Uh -huh. Definitely feels I feel more like I'm there. I know I'm there. Right. Uh, right. It's it's adding the global part to it. Right. Uh, that's when things start happening. Yeah, that's great. That's good, I and mean, that's what we want to do. I mean, because that is in fact who you are. I I know that. I mean, here we are having a conversation. You're in India and I'm in the US, right? And we're creating something for people in South Africa or for people in India or, or people in UK or you know, we're creating something for people all over the world. So the evidence is already there. All yeah. what has to happen is the internal shift has to happen. And that internal shift is your yeah. being level decision. I am a global change maker. It consistently creates global change for yeah. individuals. This evidence does the shift to suddenly knowing that this video is going to go to South Africa and going to go to Switzerland and going to go suddenly go like, okay, yeah, I'm doing this. This yeah, is here. Right. Yeah. yeah. And that significant thing is 
is not that just that you're doing it. You're doing it is just the evidence uh, yes. for the belief change. But the um, the consistency is the identity, and that's where you anchor. I'm a global change. You anchor your identity statement. Yeah. I am a global change maker. And then and then what happens? Your mind goes to Switzerland. Your mind goes to uh, South Africa. Your mind goes to Brazil. Your mind yes. goes to the U.S. You know, oh, right. Well, yeah, of course. And then when you get challenged, because you will, you know, mm -hmm. there are doubt will come, you know, tomorrow or even later today. What you go, no, no, I'm a global change maker. You know, doubt, you can do all you want. You can knock on that door, but I'm not letting you in. Right. Yeah. And yeah. then you will find there, there could be times where you let the doubt in and you, and you start to believe the doubt. But then because you've anchored that identity statement, you come back to it say you kick it, you kick the doubt out of the room you let the, the doubt into, right? No, no, you don't belong here. Out you go. Um, yes. And so that's what happens with, with this kind of level of identity change. Yes. Yeah. This is who I am. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I can so say that more have, effortlessly now. What's that? I said I could say that more effortlessly now. Okay, so notice I could say it more effortlessly. Yes. And the more says you haven't completely done it. Yes. yes. It's yeah. not about more, it's about is. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So say it again and just pay attention to what, what response you get. Yeah. Uh, so I am a global change maker. Yeah. Yes. I feel that. Right. The yes is a really important. You're saying you're saying I am a global change maker. You're nodding, which is that's kind of like the nonverbal yes. And then you're saying yes, but the yes is a spontaneous thing. It's not it's not a forced thing. And that's that's an indicator I look for is that you have spontaneous evidence of the yes. In this case, it's a verbal yes, but there are other nonverbal yeses, the head, head nod being one of them, breathing rates another one, you know, all those minimal cues you're looking for as a facilitator coach um, yeah. in making this kind of change. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Now, um, just as a, a way of kind of adding to it, allow yourself to imagine in your future a global change that uh, really responds to this new identity. And this is about vision, right? It's about your vision. Yes. So is it a result of this yeah. identity? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's my vision has been creating oneness. And right. if I'm looking at oneness at the level of planet and not just humans, like oneness with animals and nature and environment, uh, I could see that this can have the maximum impact. Uh, right. This is the fastest way to reach and fastest way to make a difference. Right. Uh, and yeah, I could genuinely create a, a huge impact in creating that oneness. Right. So two things. One, one is there's, there's another identity here, which is I am one, you know, and a manifestation of that is being a global change maker to create the oneness. I am one and it's not, it's not future, it's present. Yes. So this, this change in you will manifest evidence in the future, but the change is now in you. The change is now present. So use that i am one which is an identity statement try that on and see what response you get there i am one yeah and it's absolutely true i am yeah right and how does that feel it's a very different level of connection uh, and it's amazing I mean, fascinating maybe to have that level of connection to I mean, social media so my perception about 
social media is very different uh, very different now uh, and when I think about this from the place of I am one and I'm a global change maker uh, yeah it's a very different relationship to it right right yeah. a relationship which I, I think I'm excited about a relationship right. something that exactly exactly I, I feel good about right well I mean social media becomes your ally because you are one uh, yes you and social media are one yeah yeah right. Right. yeah Brilliant. yeah and and just to say that what happens is that that vision emerges out of identity right so you've held that vision as dissociated but when you integrate the identity it becomes one with you and that's where the excitement comes from and the motivation and the behavior and everything that follows out of it and so consistency becomes a natural expression of how you live in the world because you've said yes to this identity and you're you've anchored it in and then you'll get a chance to reinforce it reinforce it reinforce it yeah, yeah. Absolutely. great cool. and that's how we do it people what's that i said now beware people are connected with me <laughs> exactly yeah. and that that is that is that is the answer to your question. It's the experience of your own transformation. When you ask the question, what, what is this? You know, what does it look like? What does it feel like? This is what it looks like, what it feels like. This is how it yeah. goes. Yes. And this is available to everyone. This is not yes. difficult once you learn how to do it. Yeah. And that's the exciting part. I mean, that's, that's the whole purpose to be able to do this. Uh, just the experience that I've had. Uh, in every conversation that I can have with people, mm -hmm. for me, that's moving towards oneness and that change. Exactly. 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 And I would just say final things. I say this is the beauty of NLP. Uh, and I guess the other thing I would say is that, I mean, you're very experienced. And so in a way, you, you were quite quick anyone can do it this quickly but there has to be an openness and a, and a readiness for them for them to do it so sometimes it takes a little bit longer but very often this is the time frame 